Hey everyone, I'm Noelle and I'm a freelance copywriter. So last week, I received an email update from YouTube about one of the changes they've recently made to their terms of service, and if I'm being honest, it really struck me as odd. So if you have a YouTube channel, then you probably received the same email that I did. And if you looked really closely at the updates that they've recently made to their terms of service, then you also notice that YouTube has recently changed their monetization policy. In the email and in the new terms of service, which went into effect last Wednesday, YouTube announced that they have changed their right to monetize, and now they'll be running ads in videos that came from channels that may not be part of the YouTube Partner Program. So right away, this kind of raised some concerns for me, specifically as it relates to brand channels. If you have a channel to promote your business or to promote your brand, then you're probably not a part of the YouTube Partner Program because you wouldn't want ads running in the middle of your videos. The whole point of using YouTube for your business is to raise brand awareness, show product tutorials, and share any kind of valuable information that you would want your customers to know in a way that promotes your brand. So having someone else's ads interrupt your videos is going to dilute the value and the efficacy of your branded content. When you think about it, any video on your business's YouTube channel is a piece of marketing collateral. So the issue isn't just that now your competitors could run ads in your videos. The real issue is that anybody who runs an ad in your video is now considered a competitor because the whole point of your YouTube channel is to gather attention and drive it towards your brand. So to say that this update is less than ideal I think is kind of an understatement. Now I do want to disclose that YouTube does have something that's called brand channels and I looked into this a little bit because I wasn't familiar with that term. So if you have a YouTube brand channel, that basically means that you've started a channel through a branded account and from what I can gather, all that really does is give you the ability to allow multiple people to manage the channel. But if you're like me and you used your Gmail account to create a YouTube channel and have simply just started uploading videos that way, then what you have is not considered a brand channel. And now I'm not really clear on the specifics of brand channels. There may be more to it than what I've just mentioned now, but based on my own research, it doesn't really sound like a brand channel can be exempt from this new monetization policy. And I did look into that. Funny enough, the new terms of service don't even acknowledge brand channels. So as far as I'm aware, it sounds like every channel is kind of fair game as far as YouTube is concerned, but that's kind of hard to believe, especially knowing that this time of year is so important for so many businesses. Not to mention the fact that there are so many other platforms where you can upload video content for your business. If you're not familiar, Instagram now has IGTV where you can upload pretty long videos. I think I've seen upwards of 45 minutes from some content creators, which is pretty lengthy. And I would guess that the typical branded video is even shorter than that. So it's just something to keep in mind. There's also, of course, Facebook video, LinkedIn video, and you can live stream on both of those platforms as well. There's Vimeo, and you can even upload videos directly to your website, which as far as SEO goes, is not a bad strategy at all. So like I said, it's definitely interesting that YouTube has made this change to their terms of service, but if you're not comfortable with it and you feel that your brand safety is being jeopardized, first of all, I would definitely reach out to your YouTube rep if your company has one. But if you don't, I would definitely look into leaving YouTube potentially and pursuing one of the other channels that I just mentioned. And you know, aside from the fact that YouTube is now going to potentially be inserting ads directly in your videos, another thing for brands to consider is the potential for YouTube to now insert ads from either your competitors or any other business into the sponsored content that you've collaborated with influencers on. So with the way the YouTube Partner Program is currently set up, YouTube influencers have the ability to collaborate with brands on sponsored content and simply not insert ads, which makes sense because if a brand is sponsoring a video, then they shouldn't be disrupted by somebody else's marketing message. But now with this new update, it sounds like YouTube has the ability to automatically insert ads whenever and wherever they please. And that's really concerning to me, and I think that's going to be really concerning to a lot of brands as we head into the busy season of this year and well beyond that. So anyway guys, that's all I have for today. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this new YouTube update. And if you do have YouTube reps and you've already spoken to them about brand safety concerns, let me know how they responded. On the other hand, if you've started seeing ads already inserted into your brand's content, let us know about that in the comment section too. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.